What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went up against the Winstrip family, and well, now it's time to finally go north. Even more no northern than, uh, well, the Winstrip family, and that is, well, beyond Route 111. Yeah, we're finally going over to Fallover Town. Yes, I know, I know, I'm like, you know, I'm slowing it down just a little bit. All in the name of a little bit mar of a little marathon because yes, it is my birthday month, and uh, well, I kind of want to get this remake done as quickly as possible because well, we've had what Pokemon? Uh, what was it called? We've done Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon uh, what was it called? Uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. You know, we finally finished that one in a actually in record time. And now we got this, where, you know, hopefully we can finish this in record time as well. So, let's see, we see somebody that we spot, so let's go ahead and switch out the Pokemon. What other two Pokemon? So we got, well, let's go with Gaia right here, just in case. And before we do anything else, let's go right ahead and uh, take this item away. And here we have our full heal, so let's go right ahead and talk to these guys. Oh, we spotted a tough-looking trainer here in all of the places. Okay, roll the camera. Let's get this interview. So, yes. In the... What was it called? Um, Well, in the original versions, you got interviewers Gabby and Ty. And the further you progress... You're going to battle them three times, guys. The further you progress, the Pokemon grow. And then, you know, it's an infinite loop. You can train with them as many times as you can. And the best thing about this is that their Pokemon do grow up to their final forms. I don't remember if Magnemite here uh, go, grows up to be a Magna a Magna Zone, but that would be cool. That would be very, very cool. So yeah, there you go. Magnemite defeated. Yeah, no, no, like no Fs given right there in Sableye, you know, or Shadow Eye getting a, what was it, whatchamacallit, level 15, and well, here comes uh, that. That really wasn't much of an attack right there. In all honesty, Tommy could have just defeated these guys all by himself. You know, the guy is there just uh, for appearances, just to look pretty and all that crud. Yeah, he's there just for all that stuff. So there we go, everybody gets some points. And Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 25. And, well, Gabby and Ty defeated. Yes, their eyes do not deceive them. So let's see what the interview is all about right here. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please, let me explain. Uh, we travel around everywhere and interviewing all sorts of trainers. Care, uh, care to give us a bit of your time for an interview? Sure, let's go right ahead. You will? Thank you. Okay, I need you to describe the feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Alright, so short and sweet. I'm going to go with the same thing I do every single time because, well... Yeah, I'm just like that. And this is coming from... What was it? If you guys, if you guys ever watched the league, you know the what was it? The FX show, the league, where it's about fantasy football, and it's all improv and all that stuff. That's where this comes from. With Rafi, he schemed or he yells out the the movie title Gattaca as a war cry. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out if you are of age. <laughs> so there it is, Gattaca. That is a perfect clincher, and uh, well. In the buzz, the buzz nav, you will be seeing uh, the news and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and start battling everybody and everything. Alrighty, let's go. So here it is, taking on Picnicker Irene, coming out with a plusle. Oh yeah, I also remember that because in this walk or in this game right here, yeah, in this game right here, you can get you can get a plusle very easily. I went on to get myself a Minu from, uh, what was it called? From Pokemon Omega Ruby. That way I wouldn't have to, like, you know, try and locate it every single time. And, yeah, I did capture I did quite, capture quite a few Pokemon along the way. You know, planned it out and all that crud. So, yeah, we're, we're going to have fun. Now, if you're new to Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, yes, this game right here enables you to get a lot stronger... A lot quicker, not just through the experience share, but look at that. Thunderball grows to level 30, and Shadow Eye grows to level 16. And it's trying to learn Shadow Sneak. Oh, crud, okay. Shadow Sneak, let's see. 
The user extends its shadow attacks and targets from behind. This move always goes first. Good gravy. And it has... Yeah. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go with that. And if I have to reteach it, then whatever. But like I was saying, um, because we are in the world of Wi-Fi and all that stuff, yes, people still play this game. You go online, you get secret bases, bam, you get to train against a lot of people, get to fill up your Pokedex like that. Anywho... Thunderball is digivolving. Alrighty, here we go. So, Thunderball, we caught him like a few episodes ago, and this guy right here, yeah, it, it turns out to be very, very serviceable. A very, very serviceable ball, or Pokemon, and it was, uh, you know, quite a bit of a difference from the usual Cohen Pokemon that I usually catch here, right here. And look at this, it is now an Electrode. Big ol' reverse Pokeball, right there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Thunderball, the Electrode. First time of me having this. Still has soundproof. It is still one of the fastest Pokemon we have. It is mostly a special attacker. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it right there. It's a bashful nature and whatnot, so, yeah. Anywho, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. There's going to be somebody looking at us and all that. So, let's go. Bring it on. Okay, so here we go, taking on Camper Travis, and there we go, coming out with a good old Santru. All right, let's see what happens right here. Santru, level 19, meet the double kick. Oh, yeah, double kick right there. There's one, there's two, and this Santru has been defeated. All righty, okay, so we get some more points, and yes, our Pokemon mooching off the levels and whatnot. So there we go, and well, let's see, what else do we need to do, let's see, there's nothing else, now, if you guys go further up here, which you'll, you'll, you'll see after you battle this guy right here, there is, a des there, there is a desert, so let's go right ahead and take on Backpacker Emery, and well, let's see, he's coming out with a, a Swallow, so let's go right ahead, let's do it, okay, so let's see, Peck Attack, will that work against him? Here we go, Peck Attack, and Taylor has not been defeated, but there comes a double team attack right here, so let's see if we can actually hit it this time around, so let's see, yep, Peck Attack usually works, and there we go, say goodbye, yes, happy, happy as can be, and well, Backpacker Emery has been defeated, he is not so happy about that, so take a look at this, guys, if you go right up here, there will be a desert, and unfortunately you won't be going through anything because the sandstorm is too vicious you won't be able to see your eyes will be covered in dirt so yeah you don't want that so let's go right ahead and move on to route 112 and well hello there ah draven look right up there that's mount chimney ah look at that the view is beautiful in at night yeah it sure is big no more like no, more like huge. It totally takes my breath away. I'd love to take the cable car all the way up to the, su the top someday. Hmm. Hey, Draven, don't you don't your Pokemon seem a little bit ragged around the edges? Here, let me give you a little boost. Okay, see. Oh, yeah, she's healing her Pokemon. Good for her. You see, get yourself a girl like that, guys. Here, take this too. And we get ourselves the HMO4 Strength. And, well, let's see, I bet you can find all kinds of uh, ways to use it in the mountains li that lie ahead. But it won't work outside of battle if you don't have the badge from the Lava Ridge uh, Gym. And, well, she's like, what am I nattering away here? I'm supposed to be uh, on my way to Falarber to visit Professor Cosmo. I'm off for right now, uh, Draven, but let, let us, let's battle next time. Whatever you say, homegirl. Okay. So, we got ourselves the HMO4 Strength. This is a very, very, very useful move. But like she said, we won't be able to use this move until right after we, what was it called? Um, we defeat the, the gym over at Lava Ridge. So, let's go right ahead and teach this to Linoon. And, well, we found Headbutt. This guy right here. Yes. Okay, so Strength. Nothing can F with us. That is for later on, and yes, I did notice the item that it has, so let's go right ahead and see what we got right here. Let's see, take away, and we found ourselves another escape rope. What a coincidence! Okay, so we got another trainer waiting for us. 
you know, peacefully and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and use Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, well, let's see what this guy brings. I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. You won't cry if you lose. That is, that, that, let's see. Let's see right here on Dragon Ball Z. And, well, here he is coming out with a Talo. So, here we go. Going up against Talo itself. Gaia the Fierce Knight needs to evolve five more levels. Let's go right ahead and use a Draining Kiss. And, yes. Bam. Takes away all its HP. That must be one hell of a kiss right there. So, there we go. And here comes a Zubat. I'm going to keep it right here. So, yes. Zubat looking, uh, Zubat looking all mean and all that stuff. Now, I do have a Crobat now, guys. If you guys didn't catch it in the last episode, yes. Um, I didn't know that my Golbat was going to evolve so soon. But, yes. We, we evolved... Golbat into Crobat, and the only way you can evolve that Pokemon into that Pokemon is through happiness. And it looks like to me that you know Golbat was pretty happy with me. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty charming trainer. I offer up insurance. Yeah, I think they like the insurance plants and all that stuff. Okay, so here we go, taking on Golpin, and well, let's see, Golpin taking on Gaia the Fierce Knight, and. Well, look at that. Liquid Ooze is its effect right there. So, let's go ahead and go with a Confusion Attack right here. And there it is. Finish it off. There you go. So, there we go. And there we go. Damn. Shadow Eye grows to level 17. And, well, let's see. Well, what else do we have to do now? Oh, yeah. We have to go to Mount Chimney right here. And, well, as you guys can see, there are some Team Aqua lads right there waiting for us. But, before we do anything, we have to defeat these two trainers. So, let's go right ahead and do that. Let's see. Come on. My legs are solid from pounding, uh, pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, my friend. You want to bet? You are one cookie crumb away from the diabetes. So, here we go. Hiker Trent. Coming with a Geodude. Let's get this. Alrighty, so I think the mission now is to get this Pokemon to evolve into its final form right here. So let's get this. Yeah, buddy. Magical Leaves do the trick. You know, funny thing is, Magical Leaves, Magical Leaves, yes, they actually they don't miss at all. So here comes another Geodude. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here with uh, another Geodude. Let's go, Magical Leaf again. And there you go. Holy crud. Nearly defeats it, but Geodude, of course, has. It's sturdy. So here comes a rollout attack. And thankfully, we got one more move before you know it gets all powered up and everything. So here we go. Magical Leaf doing the thing. And just like that, we have defeated another Geodude. And, well, Lanoon grows to level 27. And it's learning bestow. I don't even know what that is. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see what bestow means. So, let's see. Bestow, is the user passes the held item to the target when the target isn't holding an item. So, this move right here could be uh, could come in handy when it comes to... Uh, what was it called? Um, online battles and all that stuff. It could be a move that, you know, could poison the Pokemon and all that stuff. I've seen that happen before. So, let's go. Geodude, how's it going? Take this magical leaf and go on. Go away. Now imagine the double team attack with the magical leaf attack com combination. That would have been messed up right there. And there we go. Olay grows to level 32 and is trying to learn uproar. So let's go right ahead and see what moves it can actually take away. So uproar right here. The user attacks in an uproar for three turns. During that time, no one can fall asleep. This is a very powerful move. And... Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and take away water water sport. I know that, you know, once we get to once we get to uh, Flannery, it's gonna be a little bit different. So yes, his legs cramped up. You see? You see? You're not so strong after all. Okay. So let's go ahead and take on this guy right here. <laughs> how do you ha how, how how about we have a battle? You and me, ha ha ha. Okay, alrighty, so let's have another battle right here with another uh, hiker. His name is Bryce, and he will be coming out with a Numel. 
And yes, it, around this area you can you can find a numal. For me, I'm gonna do that off screen because you guys already know me capturing a numal. The numal that I captured in what, like a uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. It is called Vesuvius, named after the you know the, the the volcano that just messed up everything. And well, this guy right here is powering up. So let's go confusion attack for the win. And there you go, Numal has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And let's see, Hiker Bryce coming out with a Machop. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Guy right here is gonna take care of business. So let's go straight for Confusion Attack yet again. And there you go, Machop defeated. Yes, I'm feeling good. And look at this, Gaia grows to level 27, or 26 I should say, and is learning Calm Mind. This is going to come in handy because it is a special attacker, especially with, with its evolution as a female. It is going to be a very, very good special attacker. And Hiker Bryce, not so happy. He lost. He lost. Okay, so, take a look at this. You can't get through the cable cart right here right now. Grumble. Mumble. Rumble. If I have to pick just one, it's Grumble. They won't be saying much afterwards. So, let's go right ahead and go straight to the, well, the, the what was it called again? The Fire Path right here. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that you could find here too. And yes, I will be capturing most of these Pokemon off screen. And it looks like to me that Lanoon is like, yeah, it, it it's picking up stuff like nobody's business. So, I want to see what it what it is. Here we have another Revive, which is cool. And, uh, well, it looks like to me you can find a Slugma, Numal, Torkoal is a Pokemon you can find. Um, well, like I already said Slugma, Coughing, and this can only be moved after, you know, the, the Lava Ridge uh, badge. And, well, let's get the heck out of here, and, well, here we are in Route 112. We got a few more battles ahead of us, guys. We're going to be finishing off right here close to a point. So what we're going to do is I am going to switch it out to Tommy JDF just to finish off these whole things right here. And, well, let's get this. Let's go. I'm not much of an amateur, but I'm going to take you easy just because you're a kid. There we go. And here comes Street Thug Jalen coming out with a Mighty Anna. And, well, let's see. Tommy JDF... Uh, picked its perfect opponent right here, so let's go right ahead. And I was supposed to be using a double a double kick, but you know what? Flame charge is perfect too, I guess. And well, that could have oh wow, that that could have uh, yeah, that could have finished it off. So let's go right ahead and go with a double kick right here. And there we go, double kick. It becomes a single kick. That's right, finished. And well, let's see. Shadow Eye grows to level 18. I won't be battling with that Pokemon until after it gets to level 20 because, yeah, the levels start increasing. It gets really crazy. And we it looks like to us there is an unknown Pokemon right here. And I want to check it out. I think, yes, we still have a Repel. So we got to we gotta uh, try and walk slowly. Here we have a Machop. So I'm going to try and capture this little, ba this little man right here. So here it is. Going up against Machop. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yes, Machop is another Pokemon you can find around these parts. So, let's see. Let's go with a double kick. It shouldn't defeat it because it's, it, it is a fighting type. And, oh, I thought wrong. Never mind. Okay. So, I thought wrong. I thought way wrong. Yeah, there's experience points in there. So, let's see. Let's go back right here. So, we found... Well, we found two raspberries, and there it is. We found two raspberries on the tree. The next one is two more raspberries. And just like that, we're filling up our, our berries box and all that stuff. And here we get three, what was it called again? Three prison bed, uh, three prison berries and shoot. And uh, yeah, we're not going to be filling up anything right now. Yeah, I haven't used a single berry just yet. This is, well... This kind of this is this is just me, guys. So here we have another trainer at Route 111. And here he's like, show me how much you've toughened up your Pokemon. Ah. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Ace Trainer Wilton, and he is coming out with an Electrike. 
This could be... This could be, uh, this could be messed up because Electric does have either Intimidate or Static. And, well, it hasn't Intimidated me yet, so it looks like it's going to be Static. And just like that, we increase our speed. There goes Electric. Thankfully, we did not get paralyzed right there. And, let's see, he's coming out with a Bagon. Okay. So, Bagon is the most unfair Pokemon to ever obtain in the third generation. You, you you advertise it, but you can't find it until, well, after you defeat the Elite Four. Or after you win the 8th badge. So messed up. How, did, how is it that this guy gets big on and we don't? That is not fair. So here we go. Let's go with a Nature Power right here. And it turns into Energy Ball. And that right there messes up this Pokemon. So here comes a Headbutt attack. It's not that I want a big on right now. It's just, you know, it would be nice to have it for my collection. You know, since I already had it. And bam. There you go. Now, I could trade a Bagon to this <laughs> to this Pokemon team, but yeah, I already did. I, I, I already, uh, what was it called? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we, we, we can't, we, we can't trade, well, we can't trade the Pokemon right now because what was it called? Um, <laughs> um, what was I trying to say? Yeah, we can't trade the Pokemon because in Omega Ruby, we're not there yet. And I could go trade a Pokemon or a Bagon from X and Y to right here, but I sort of maybe kind of probably restarted the games because, well, we're going to play them eventually again. And uh, you know me. I like to I like to capture Pokemon along the way. I like to, you know, follow the game as it goes. That way I can start trading Pokemon and all that stuff. So there we go. And Ace Trainer Wilton has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. So, let's see. Let's see what happens right here. So, this is where we're going to be stopping. We're going to be going right here. And there's going to be an individual right in front of this big old tree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can smell it. I can smell it right here. The scent of adventure. And it, it's it got to be a secret spot. And there'll be enough space here to build a crazy super place. Or my name is not Arun. Arun. I can't even pronounce his name. And look at this guy right here. He's like adventurous looking and all that crud. He's like, yo, my young trainer or my young Pokemon trainer. What can I do for you? Hmm. Huh. What do you mean? You didn't ask for anything? Bet you your heart you did. Now, now. No need to be shy. After all, we managed to meet. My name is Arun. I think that's what his name. Put her there. You Nova born and 25 years old. Spent the last 11 years trying to find myself just a vagabond in search of dreams. I'm wandering around Hoenn, trying to find a place where I really belong. That's right, a super secret base. You don't know what secret base is? What kind of life is that? Too uh, too sad, little bro. Time for a little uh, lecture about the uh, Uncle Aron. Wow. Okay. Too many things. Let's start with the what 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 the secret base is, which is an uh, an adventure, romance, awesome. For real, it's the best place you ever to ever or best place ever to chill. You, your pals, and uh, and you let hang out. Since you've got this chance, you ought to learn how to make uh how to make one. Take this, and here we go. We got ourselves the TM94 secret power, and well, secret power can help you find the entrances to hidden places. These entrances, they're full of adventure. All right, that's why I like to throw some spice in there and call them secret spots. So he's going to be doing this for us. He's like, like this, see? This right here is a secret spot. Doesn't look like you uh, could uh, just climb right up the tree. This is exactly the kind of place that, to bust out with a secret power. And bam, he opens it up and he's like, oh yeah, I never get tired of that. That's uh, or and that's all the that's all there is to finding secret spots and creating the entrance to a secret base. This move is crucial to having a secret base. Don't forget now. And well, we're going to be going into the secret base itself yes it's a sec it's a starter secret base for everybody who plays this game as you guys can see he's like mm -hmm, not not a bad layout see behind each secret spot you'll find a space like this they come in all kinds of di shapes and sizes so basically whenever you find a secret spot you ought to at least check it out check it out with secret power just think, someday this place could be somebody's secret base, all decorated and filled with goods and friends. I'd really love to see it like that. Hmm. Okay. Wait a sec. But who in the world are you? Ah, right, Draven. I missed out on the last thing, okay? So then, 
So then, Draven, how I give, how, uh, how about I gave you, uh, give you another tip? When you feel happy about something, you should express that feeling. Put it into words. I'll cheer, I'll cheer everyone up. So how about you tell me, huh? Come on, tell Uncle Arun what you say when you totally, uh, when you're totally thrilled. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with what, what I told. Uh, what was it called? Yeah, I'm gonna go with what I told. Uh, what was it? The interviewers. I'm gonna go with Gattaca. That's right, because I am that immature. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're pressing that button right there, and well, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whistle, Gattaca. That's good. No, what? Why I asked you for that? Isn't it obvious? It's because I can see already that there is plenty in your future to feel happy about. That's how, or that's just how we roll in the secret base life. Every day is uh, full of happy adventures. Oh yeah. Okay, so what are you doing? Okay, hmm. Now I now I can go ahead and make you a secret base right there too. I get the feeling that this layout could be even better for you, little bro. Guess I'm gonna leave this spot for you. And just like that, we are. Yeah, we we have what five secret pads and you know a laptop with a flag. And he's like, this is uh, this will be your secret base from now on, little pal. It's yours now. So decorate it, destroy it, do whatever you want, whatever floats your boat, right? Oh, right, decorating. See, any decorations you get will be sent to the PC in your secret base automatically. Place them around and liven up your base a bit. Oh, huh. Make it look like a gym? I can do that. And, well, homeboy right here is like, there's a PC. That's where you'll find your decorations. Now that you probably have uh, much right, here, I'll give you these just to get you started. And we got ourselves some decorations going into the PC. Oh, right, one last thing. You can do more than just make your make your secret base. You can visit other people's bases uh, for a bit of fun. If you find a base that belongs to someone else, check it out. And here's a real point. When you check out someone uh, someone's secret base, uh, collect the flag and find, it, uh, find the next PC. <laughs> Something good might come of it. And what else? Looks like it's about time for me to hit the road in search of a per perfect secret base. Goodbye for now, but hopefully I'll see you again too soon, Draven. Uh, if you need me, uh, if you need me for anything, try dropping in the secret uh, the secret base guild in Fortry. Okay, so basically, what they did right here in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was that, yeah, back then a lot of people didn't have a lot of friends with cable link cables and all that crud, and uh, you know, finding secret bases was just different. Uh, on top of it all, whatever Pokemon you your friend had the secret base with will be the Pokemon you will be battling up against every single day. There's nothing changing it, no leveling up. In this version of the secret base, the online, the Wi-Fi does the changes, and it changes from day to day. And, you know, you can find different kinds of people that you'll like. You know, you can build them, and, or you can actually make them part of your little clan right here. Make this into a, a gym and all that stuff. And to top it all off too, guys, there's a boatload of areas where you can make a secret base. So I don't think this will be the, the permanent spot, but it's it's a starter stuff. You know, it's a starter place. So anywho, we're going to stop it right here because, you know, I took 30 minutes of your time. In the next episode, we will be continuing our adventure to Fall Arbor Town. Hopefully we don't run into any kind of bad guys or anything like that. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we head into Fall Arbor Town. See you guys.